How's it going everyone? My name is Kyle Shang and today I'm joined with one of my most favorite authors, the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, Sharon Letcher. I have to bow down really quick. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, Sharon, we know you are a wizard when it comes to financial, whether you call it advice or knowledge. We wanted to know for our audience out there, what can you tell them if they want to start their own business at a very young age? What well, should they focus why on? Not? Why not? Why not? Why not? If you want to be wealthy, it's all about assets. And assets is my favorite word on earth. Sexy assets, they're very sexy. That's what creates wealth. Okay, it's not working for money, it's working for building, buying, or creating assets that generate income. So that you're not the one, sometimes we're our only asset. You've got to get out of bed and go to work. So you want to build a business that becomes an asset. You don't want to build a job. A lot of people think they're building a business, but they're really just building a job for themselves. Because they're not putting in the business systems. They're not putting the components of the strong business together. You want to build a business that will continue growing even when you're not there. And that means you're building an asset. And that asset continues to grow and put money in your pocket. And so that's what the focus should be. If you actually want to be wealthy, you want to be rich, building assets that generate income. And remember, the most successful businesses either solve a problem or serve a need. So identify what problem are you solving, what need are you serving, and that's what's going to keep you focused on your core mission to build that business. Oh my god. I just got 10 times smarter. <laughs> One more question. So for us 22-year-old, 23-year-old that just came out of college, what are some few assets that we could start focusing on? although we may not have um, the monetary spending that many people can have when they do have a job. We already have the greatest asset, and that's right here, your head. You know, intellectual property, creating, solving a problem, or serving a need. Um, as, as young people, you're still very creative. You, you, haven't, you haven't been sullied by the world like us old folks. Um, so you have the, the world as an opportunity. And, and don't ask yourself why, because that means you're waiting for someone else to tell you, give you an answer. Ask why not. Yes. Why not do something different? Why not go with path less travel? Why not go out there and create something to make money online? It's never been easier to create a business. It's never been easier to promote a business because of the online environment. And you know what? The richest people today, a lot of them are 22, 23 years old. So why not you? I might have why a chance. Yes. I might just, just a little bit. <laughs> All right, one last thing. Are there any passion projects that you are working on at this moment that we can share to the youth of this world? Well, the passion is that every one of us is the CEO of our own life. And so find the education that you need to succeed financially. And it's not going to be in school. You're not going to get it in school. You need to find it on your own. Understanding good debt versus bad debt. Understanding building assets. Understanding how that you are the CEO of your own life. Take charge. And you are where you are today because of the decisions that you made before today. So if you want something different, make different decisions. Get that education. It's there. Go get it. Why not? Awesome. Thank you so much. And for more information, we will provide a link below. Sharon, it has been an amazing pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye, guys.